If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, lecturer, teacher and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. Now this chicken shit is away. Let's get to the topic of today. I'm going to discuss how to get a job in crypto. It's bear market at the moment. The cash flows are suffering. DeFi protocols are not giving you as much returns as you used to. How do you increase your cash flow? That's going to be the topic of today. What if I told you you don't need any coding skills? What if I told you you don't need to be engineer, a technology person to get really, really well paid jobs in crypto? And I'm going to give you example how I managed to secure ambassador job in one of the crypto projects. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first thing you need is English level skills. If you can read, write and speak and listen to English and understand it, there is no excuse. There's there is so much opportunity and especially in, in the current climate that cap was annoying me as always especially in the current climate when uh, inflation is crazy the, there isn't spare cash to invest so how do you generate that spare cash and although I'm gonna focus exclusively on the ambassador job however the things I'm gonna tell you today they apply to any other crypto job in fact they also apply to Web2 jobs. If you don't have good English level skills, I would encourage you to enroll into an English course. If you really want to work in Web3, English is the language that's gonna be spoken. I'm not a native uh, English speaker. In fact, I can speak five languages and I can read and write three, but that doesn't matter because the main language that is needed is English. If you speak two languages, you're bilingual. If you speak three languages, you're trilingual. Four. Quadra, five, Penta. If you speak only one language, you are either English or American. Jokes aside, if you're actually bilingual or trilingual, that is actually an amazing asset to any new crypto project because crypto does not respect borders. It is borderless, it is permissionless, it is trustless. And having those language skills are gonna actually put you ahead of the language pack. So if you are from any part of the world that doesn't speak English, you are desired because there's always sub channels in a crypto project that will need multilingual speakers. Also, most of the Twitter threads, most of the medium articles, they are written in English language. And that's the place I would like you to start. Start reading Twitter threads, start participating in Twitter spaces. I cannot tell you how much knowledge and alpha you get on Twitter spaces. You will not find that in traditional books. The second key skill set is how to use Discord and Telegram safely. Now, safety is the most important thing. Most of the scams happen on Discord and Telegram. You really need to switch DMs off. You really need to be very, very careful. So the first thing, even before I say Discord and Telegram, I'm going to say safety. So you should know how to distinguish a scam and how to distinguish a genuine DM message. I never played any games. So I used to think Discord is for gamers. What I actually found is Discord is where the most alpha is. If you can conquer Discord and Telegram, that will open you opportunities for new crypto projects. Most crypto projects will have a Twitter link, will have a Discord link and will have a Telegram link. And these are the three things that you really need to master to get a job in Web3. How do you find a project you want to work in? For me, the most important criteria are as follows. Number one, it has to be a new project. If the project is already established, you can very well think there is already many, many people working in it. However, if it is a new crypto project, they need people. They need content creators. They need community managers. They need ambassadors. Most of these projects, as much as you would not like to hear it, actually is young people. So there is a massive opportunity of Web2 people to come in into Web3 and help these younger folks with their experience with their calmness web3 projects need web2 ceos this is a truth the more sooner you learn the better you'll understand if you are an older person like me i cannot tell you how easy it was after i follow this uh, methodology that i'm teaching you today it is easy in fact i have applied for three or four projects i have got ambassador roles in those three or four projects and one project i will exclusively mention at the end and how did I manage to, to get ambassador role there? Obviously, this goes without saying, the team, you should look into the CEO, CTO, CFO. Is there enough number of people? Are they doxed? Now, project I'm gonna talk, talk today is not doxed. 
However, I'll, I'll explain in details later on why I chose that project. You have to be genuinely interested in that project. Obviously, again, next thing is tokenomics. Uh, you don't want to be working for a project that has extremely high number of tokens will be not worth much. So the idea here is to get these tokens early. And if out of three or four ambassador roles you do, one project does 10x, you are set for life. You really don't need to invest. You can just hold on to these tokens. And if a good project does 10x, 100x, you are set for your your investing journey for future. Lastly, which is sometimes not as important, uh, is actually a great problem to solve. Is the project solving a great problem? The next thing you need to do is knowledge. You really need to read all the information about that particular project. Guys, this is the pre-work you need to do. This is true for Web 2. This is true for Web 3. If as a, I'm a, you all know that I am a scientist in my day job, and I have constant, uh, I have positions in my lab. And one of the best criteria to impress me is read my articles, read the journal articles I have published, and then input your own thoughts to it and write a cover letter to me and say, I am interested in your research because of X, Y, and Z. That person immediately beats majority of the competition. And this is true in Web3. This is true for crypto space. Read everything on that project, read all the Medium articles, all the Twitter posts by the team, and before you even ask for a job, display your superior understanding. Correct, not, not to show off, but genuinely help people on the socials. The best way is to answer people's questions on Discord. Founders are there. If you start doing that without asking for a job, you are way, way ahead of your competition or anyone who's interested in that job. So display superior understanding, help the community in Discord and Telegram, and be a regular contributor on their social channels. The next thing you need to do is not waste your time. You need to identify who are the clear cut decision makers, who are the founders and you can do that easily by attending the discord amas twitter spaces youtube channel once you have identified the decision makers you really need to cut through your competition and go straight to them dm them directly hey guys i've been really really genuinely interested in this project i would like to have a role in the community whether it's a community moderation or is it an ambassador role would you be interested in something like that so phrase first you impress them and then you ask them the job and in my opinion if there is a job there is rarely rarely a no at least for me they might well turn out and then say no we are not interested in in ambassadors that's fine as well you stay in the community you stay passionate if the new job comes you will be way way ahead of everyone else Woo -hoo, success so you have been offered that ambassador job next then what's next number one keep your calm never ever respond to a message in anger display superior knowledge never ever insult anyone never ever brag about your superior understanding of the protocol if you maintain a calm composed responses to people's questions and you just take it as a process do not take it personally you will make mistakes everyone makes mistakes but most important learn from them so you have this offer do not settle for the initial offer always ask for more and then you can't say oh no 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 i don't like that <laughs> you say i will add more value if i add more value would you reconsider this offer number one number two most of these projects will most likely give you a cliff so some, for some projects on which i am ambassador there is nine months cliff so what i negotiated there was can i stake my tokens to earn staking rewards even if i have nine month cliff or six month cliff at least i will earn passive income so again there's so much other things you need to negotiate you need to be aware of you you can do so again depending on the project you, you can ask that and majority of the time they the founders are sensible majority of time they will definitely listen to you by the way guys i am only your weekend youtuber so smash that like button hit like subscribe i don't have time <laughs> to make these videos but when i make them you can rest assured i have done a lot of research i have worked really really hard so smash that like button for me also comment below please what is your strategy to get a job or are you interested in a crypto job in web3 also follow me on eat healthy get rich uh, channel on twitter because most of my alpha drops in here for example well i had this competition i was giving away free money who doesn't want free money three into ten usdc to random people who, who just commented on these uh, twitter posts so a lot of knowledge i also crack some jokes do you want to laugh do you want to have some humor follow me on twitter recently 
I joined the team of Moon Blockchain. Well, it's a new project, so let me tell you what Moon is. Uh, Moon Blockchain basically is a blockchain to send money cross-border. So cross-border payments, the target market is when people send money to, let's say, India from the West. <laughs> I actually <laughs> did reverse. <laughs> when I bought this house, I asked my dad to send money and the banks charged crazy amount of money. So it goes both ways. But what Moon solves is a real world problem in the remittance sector. You know how many nurses from Philippines are working in the West. They need to send money back. You know how many Indians, Pakistanis and other Southeast Asian people, Sri Lankan people are working in the West. They need to send money back to their households. What Moon does, it actually removes that barrier. Because of its superior technology, what will happen is the transfers from Moon wallet address to Moon wallet address will be free, but there will be additional broker system. So there will be a, let's say, broker in the West and then there will be a, there will be a broker in the East and through this ancient Silk Road system, combined it with the latest technology, this blockchain aims to solve one of the biggest problems in the remittance sector. In the start of the video, I said you need to find a new project. So Moon has not launched yet. So it is still under development. Great team, great tokenomics, great problem solved. So I have talked about new project. I have talked about the problem to solve. Let's talk about tokenomics. There are total 100 million tokens, which is not a lot. Uh, they are using airdrop strategy. So I have made countless videos on Atom and Cosmos ecosystem. Our picks are doing sensational. Um, I, I don't brag like other YouTubers on my picks, but we have we were very, very early in FMOS. Now everyone is talking about FMOS. We were talking about FMOS when no one was talking about FMOS. I was talking about Adam when it was around six or seven dollars. You can check the price today, but I'm not here to brag all of that. But the strategy here is to get all the Cosmos community buy into the Moon blockchain because they are launching on Cosmos ecosystem. I think it's a win-win solution. I think more and more projects will choose Cosmos instead of any other blockchain. So these tokenomics looks good to me. Now again, team, they are all not doxed as yet. It's a new project. There is still a lot of legal stuff, but I have been talking to some of these guys and I can tell you uh, that there is plan to partially dox some of the people. Well, I'm part of the team, so I've doxed already. The team looks good. There is developers, there is social media people, there is project managers. I will join as a community guy, as an ambassador. I'm also a real world use case. So I regularly send money to India and I want to use this blockchain as a test case. So it's a win-win situation. I'm passionate about this idea. I know a lot about pain points in this sector. So there cannot be a better person to help this project grow. Similarly, you can find your own narrative. You can find if, if you are involved in gaming, if you're involved in game related betting, if you're involved in esports. Again, you need to find your, uh, your narrative for this project reason I'm so, so passionate is because I have suffered at the hands of banks and nothing will please me more to beat them. So bring it on. In addition to that, folks, because it will be on Cosmos, you will be able to stake your tokens and earn passive income. We made, we, we are printing money on FMOS, for example. If you look at their Twitter, they already have more than 12K followers. If you go on to their Discord, you have more than 30,000 followers. So there is already a community building. So what I did now in the community, I displayed my superior knowledge. I put myself forward as a test case. And then, and I actually asked ambassador job from the founders and, and yeah, I, they did not turn me down and I want to grow this project passionately. So everything I have said in this video about Moon Blockchain should be viewed from the lens of the fact that I am ambassador in their protocol. Moon did not ask me to make this video. I have not received any financial remuneration for this particular video. Okay, so that was my story. I gave you one example. As you know, I am ambassador on several other projects. It's all displayed on my Twitter bio. There is no hidden skeletals in my closet, okay? Let's say you are not prepared to do that. You are not prepared to do the research that I have done because you are lazy. Here are the two websites that you can actually go and try to find something that matches your skill set. So the first one is the DeFi Edge. You can again scroll through. There's so many jobs. There is so much opportunity. All the YouTubers are lying to you. You will not get rich by investing. 
you will get rich by increasing the sources of income you have you will get rich by the side hustles stop following the crap give me a follow smash that like button destroy that like button it's the second uh, uh, website which is really really good is the web3.career okay and again if you are a developer yes use this uh, platform to get a job uh, there's marketing jobs which i have very very good experience now you can actually filter the jobs let's say discord jobs An easy place to start is intern you can just select intern and here we go you have so much jobs now don't tell me you don't have time i'm a real i have a really challenging day job as a scientist teacher and lecturer i have three children who all play various games i'm also a football coach all i do is before i go to bed i will spend an hour or two hours doing research moderating these communities if i can do it a guy older guy and you are a young 17 18 to 30 year old there is no excuse go find your dream job and i'll see you in the next video